Hey there, honey lovers. Welcome to a sweet journey through time. Let's talk about something we all love. Honey, this golden nectar has been a staple in our lives for thousands of years. It's sweet, it's sticky, and it's been around for ages. But have you ever wondered just how far back our love affair with honey goes? We're talking ancient history, folks. Since the dawn of time, humans have been fascinated by bees and their liquid gold. The relationship between humans and honeybees is as old as civilization itself. We've been enjoying honey for so long that there are cave paintings to prove it. These ancient artworks show our ancestors risking their lives to collect honey from wild hives. That's right, our ancestors were just as obsessed with honey as we are. They braved bee stings and heights to gather this precious substance. They drew pictures of themselves collecting honeycombs from bees. Talk about dedication. These early beekeepers used rudimentary tools and techniques, but their passion for honey was undeniable. Honey has been a part of our diets, our medicines, and even our religious ceremonies for centuries. Ancient cultures revered honey not just as a food, but as a symbol of health and prosperity. From the ancient Egyptians using it to embalm their pharaohs to Cleopatra, adding it to her beauty routine, honey has always been a hot commodity. The Egyptians believed honey had magical properties and used it in various rituals and remedies. And let's be real, who can resist a dollop of honey in their tea or drizzled over a warm biscuit? It's simply irresistible. Whether it's for its taste, its health benefits, or its historical significance, honey continues to be a beloved staple in our kitchens and our lives. Today, honey production has evolved with modern beekeeping practices and advanced technology. Yet, the essence of honey remains unchanged. It's a testament to the enduring bond between humans and bees. We use honey in countless ways, from sweetening our foods and drinks to enhancing our skincare routines. Its versatility and natural goodness make it a timeless treasure. So next time you enjoy a spoonful of honey, remember that you're part of a tradition that spans millennia, a tradition that connects us to our ancestors and to the incredible world of bees. Honey truly is a gift from nature, a sweet reminder of the intricate dance between humans and bees. Let's cherish and protect this golden legacy for generations to come. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive future updates. Now, let's rewind the clock way back to the early days of beekeeping. Imagine a time when humans were just beginning to understand the natural world around them, and the concept of agriculture was still in its infancy. Imagine this, you're a cave dweller, and you stumble upon a beehive bursting with honey. The sight of the golden liquid glistening in the sunlight must have been mesmerizing, a true treasure trove of sweetness and energy. What do you do? You grab a stick, of course. With no protective gear or knowledge of bee behavior, you take a leap of faith, driven by the promise of that delicious honey. Our ancestors were pretty brave, or maybe a little crazy, to mess with those bees. They faced the risk of painful stings and the wrath of an entire hive, yet their determination to harvest honey was unwavering. They would use smoke to calm the bees down and then use sticks to scrape the honeycombs out of trees or crevices. Smoke was a crucial tool, as it masked the alarm pheromones released by the bees, making them less aggressive. It was a messy and dangerous job, but hey, someone had to do it, right? The reward was worth the risk, as honey provided not only a sweet treat, but also a valuable source of nutrition and energy. As time went on, people started to realize that they could actually keep bees in one place instead of chasing them all over the countryside. Talk about a game changer. This marked the beginning of a more structured approach to beekeeping. They started creating hives out of whatever they could find, hollow logs, clay pots, you name it. These early hives were rudimentary but effective, providing a safe and accessible place for bees to build their colonies. It was the beginning of a beautiful friendship between humans and honeybees. This relationship was mutually beneficial, as humans provided bees with a safe habitat, and in return, they received honey, beeswax, and other valuable products. These early beekeepers might not have had fancy equipment or protective gear, but they were pioneers in their own right. Their ingenuity and bravery laid the foundation for the sophisticated beekeeping practices we see today. From the simple tools and methods of our ancestors to the advanced techniques and technologies of modern beekeeping, the journey has been remarkable. Today, beekeepers use a variety of equipment, including protective suits, smokers, and hive tools to manage their colonies efficiently and safely. The evolution of beekeeping is a testament to human ingenuity and our enduring relationship with these incredible insects. 
So next time you enjoy a spoonful of honey, take a moment to appreciate the long history and hard work that made it possible. Fast forward a few thousand years and beekeeping started to look a little different. People got more creative with their hives, moving on from those basic logs and pots. Enter the skep. Skeps were these cool dome-shaped hives made from woven straw. They were all the rage in Europe for centuries. They kind of look like upside down baskets and they were perfect for housing bees. Beekeepers would place the skeps in fields or orchards, allowing the bees to do their thing and make delicious honey. But here's the thing about skeps. To harvest the honey, you had to destroy the hive. That meant the poor bees had to start from scratch every single time. Thankfully, beekeepers eventually realized there had to be a better way. They started experimenting with different hive designs, always looking for ways to make life easier for both themselves and the bees. The dawn of modern beekeeping innovation takes flight. Finally, in the 19th century, a revolution swept through the beekeeping world. A beekeeper named Lorenzo Langstroth invented the revolutionary Langstroth hive. Now, this wasn't just any old hive. This hive was a game changer. The Langstroth hive was designed with removable wooden frames that allowed beekeepers to easily access the honeycombs without disturbing the bees too much. It was a win-win situation. With this new invention, beekeepers could finally harvest honey without destroying the hive. Talk about a sweet deal. The Langstroth hive is still widely used today, and it's a testament to the ingenuity of those early beekeeping pioneers. They were true visionaries, paving the way for a more sustainable and bee-friendly approach to honey production. Sweet rewards. Honey's journey from hive to home. Now that we've got the beekeeping part down, let's talk about how we get that golden goodness from the hive to your pantry. Once the bees have done their magic and filled the honeycombs, it's time for the beekeeper to step in. They gently remove the frames from the hive, being careful not to harm the bees. Then they use a special tool to uncap the honeycombs, releasing that sweet, sweet nectar. The honey is then extracted, filtered, and bottled, ready to be enjoyed by honey lovers everywhere. It's a delicate process that requires skill and care, from the beehive to the jar on your table. The next time you drizzle honey on your toast, take a moment to appreciate the hard work of both the bees and the beekeepers who made it all possible. The busy world of bees, understanding the honey-making process. Let's give a round of applause to the real stars of the show, the bees. These tiny, industrious insects are responsible for one of nature's sweetest gifts, honey. But have you ever wondered how they do it? How do these small creatures create such a delicious and versatile substance? These little buzzing insects are incredible creatures, and their honey-making process is nothing short of amazing. It's a complex and fascinating journey that involves teamwork, precision, and a lot of hard work. It all starts with those hardworking worker bees collecting nectar from flowers. They visit thousands of flowers, using their long tube-like tongues to suck out the nectar, which is a sweet liquid produced by the flowers to attract pollinators. They store the nectar in a special honey sack in their bodies and then bring it back to the hive. This honey sack is separate from their stomach, ensuring that the nectar remains pure and unaltered during transport. Once back at the hive, they pass the nectar from bee to bee, like a game of sweet, sweet telephone. Each bee adds enzymes from their own bodies to the nectar, breaking down the complex sugars into simpler sugars, such as glucose and fructose. This process helps to break down the complex sugars in the nectar into simpler sugars that are easier for the bees to digest. The enzymes also help to preserve the nectar, preventing it from spoiling. The bees then deposit the nectar into the honeycombs, where it slowly transforms into honey. The hexagonal shape of the honeycomb cells is not only efficient for storage, but also helps to concentrate the nectar as it thickens into honey. They fan their wings over the honeycombs to evaporate excess moisture, creating that thick, syrupy goodness we all know and love. This fanning process is crucial, as it reduces the water content of the nectar from about 70% to less than 20%, turning it into honey. It's a true team effort, with each bee playing a vital role in the creation of honey. From the foragers who collect the nectar to the house bees who process and store it, every bee has a specific job to do. They're like a well-oiled machine, buzzing with activity and purpose. The hive operates with remarkable efficiency, ensuring that every drop of nectar is turned into honey. 
This collaborative effort is a testament to the incredible organization and communication within a bee colony. Once the honey is ready, the bees seal the honeycomb cells with a thin layer of beeswax, protecting it from air and moisture. This capping process ensures that the honey remains fresh and can be stored for long periods. So the next time you enjoy a spoonful of honey, remember the incredible journey it took to get to your table. From the flowers in the field to the hive and finally to your home, honey is a true marvel of nature, crafted by some of the most hardworking creatures on the planet. The world of bees is a busy one, filled with constant activity and purpose. Their dedication and teamwork are truly inspiring, reminding us of the beauty and complexity of the natural world. And there you have it, the fascinating process of how bees make honey. It's a sweet story of hard work, cooperation, and the wonders of nature. So let's give another round of applause to the bees, the unsung heroes behind every drop of honey. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to discuss the impact of artificial intelligence on the honey industry. AI has revolutionized hive monitoring, providing real-time data on hive conditions, bee activity, and potential threats. This level of precision helps beekeepers make informed decisions, optimizing honey production, and ensuring the health of their bees. Advanced AI algorithms analyze patterns and predict issues before they become critical, allowing for timely interventions. Whether it's adjusting hive temperatures, detecting diseases early, or even optimizing the placement of hives, AI plays a crucial role in modern beekeeping. Moreover, AI-driven sustainability practices are paving the way for a healthier planet. By monitoring environmental factors and their impact on bee populations, AI helps in creating strategies to support bee health and biodiversity. The integration of artificial intelligence into beekeeping not only enhances the efficiency and productivity of honey production, but also ensures the long-term sustainability of this vital industry. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive future updates.